Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another career mode video. Now this time it's the beginning of the mini series, the World Cup mini series, just like we did with France when we were on 360. We're going into the FIFA World Cup for 2014 in Brazil with England this time. We were uh, hired as England manager a few months ago. This is our first competitive fixture against Scotland, in fact. Well done to them for qualifying for the World Cup. Now we're going to be going through this the same way that we did previously. We'll have the group stage as one video and then we'll have uh, an extra video for each of the following rounds should we progress so uh, we're going to start off with Scotland here well first things first I want to say please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind to show some support for this extra little mini series I will be trying to uh, bring you some transfer news should anything happen with Chelsea whilst we're going through the World Cup process there isn't currently the transfer window at present but after the group stage should we progress there will be some transfer news stuff coming to you so uh, I'll try and do that it's like an extra second mini video if anything does happen of course later on in the series as we get closer to uh, the new season we'll be going through the the, uh, the transfer window in more depth etc but if anything happens between now and the beginning of the new season then I will keep you up to date but it's actually Jermaine Defoe coming to the rescue here against Scotland scoring the only goal of the game of course uh, Jermaine Defoe came to England's rescue in South Africa 2010 when we needed a win in the last game of the group stage against uh, Slovenia he came up trumps and was the man to pick up the solitary goal in that game to give us a 1-0 win and progress us through to the uh, second round of the World Cup four years ago so we're hoping for something similar from uh, from this group stage with the Jermaine Defoe goal but Scotland were actually going to put the ball into the back of the net although Ben Foster probably would have saved it had uh, it been onside and going at game speed but uh, you know we are uh, picking up three points from the first game which is very very pleasing indeed that was a rotation side played for that game because the other two games in our group are much much more difficult also we thought the first one of which is Chile now of course we recently covered them in the World Cup squad series last Sunday so well, we know all about the threats that Chile face and uh, the sort of players that they have at their disposal including Alexis Sanchez, Arturo Vidal and uh, a lot of pace at wide with Marc Gonzalez etc and uh, Humberto Suazo or Fernandez up top so well, we definitely know that uh, Chile are a tough side to beat they've already beaten Belgium by one goal I'm not too, entirely too sure what the exact scoreline was but their goal difference is the same as ours so they beat Belgium by one goal so beating a, a side of Belgium's quality clearly shows what Chile are all about but I don't know whether their players were, uh, were tired perhaps but we got off to a fantastic start two to three minutes in we go one and up through Ashley Young a wonderful start and actually the first half was just a continuous barrage no goal line technology needed there unfortunately it bounced just outside of the uh, of the goal line not inside it so uh, there's no controversy there but honestly this first half was just wave after wave of England attack they just could not cope with me but we just couldn't get past the goalkeeper we had that first breakthrough early on and for the rest of the half it was just chance after chance after chance and Claudio Bravo pulled off fantastic save after fantastic save we were a little bit wasteful as he goes down to his left hand side yet again to deny Micah, Micah Richards there from the header from the corner and then Gerard's going to play in Ashley Young and have another good chance obviously Ashley Young scoring the first goal going for another distance shot but Bravo's able to pick it out of the air before it dips underneath the crossbar so we went in at half time with just a slim 1-0 lead I don't know how it was only a slim 1-0 lead as you'll be able to see from the facts that's uh, going to pop up on your screen just now nine shots all nine of which were on target and still only the one goal so you can see how good Claudio Brava had been in that first half and you can see how disappointing Chile had been considering they didn't have a single effort on goal and uh, they're actually going to get their first effort on goal early in the uh, in the second half nice header from Fernandez. unfortunately not much power behind it but the throw out from Joe Hart isn't very good they get a flick on a question of offside but Fernandez wasteful with the chance nonetheless regardless of whether it was offside or not so I made a couple of changes during the second half bringing on Michael Carrick for a Phil Jones in a holding role using him in midfield as opposed to uh, in defence and I brought on Milner out wide for Ashley Young to add a bit more stability to the midfield rather than just that pace threat so uh, we actually pushed it into stoppage time before they were going to have another chance wonderful tackle from Micah Richards there but they're going to break through the second challenge somehow the ball rebounds up off Joe Hart into the player's chest for a second rebound and they're actually going to put the ball into the back of the net after having barely any chances all game they're going to snatch a point in this one Carmona in the 92nd minute wins a point for Chile so we go into the third game against Belgium knowing that a victory 
will take us through regardless of what happens between Chile and Scotland. But Belgium are an extremely strong side. Of course, though, they will be without Eden Hazard because he broke his elbow in the FA Cup final for us a couple of weeks ago and is out for two months. So they will be without their main talisman. But of course, you've still got Christian Benteke. You've still got Moussa Dembele. You've still got Rajan Angolan. You've still got Romelu Lukaku. They've still got Marouane Fellaini. It's not as if they haven't got a very, very strong side. And as you saw on screen just there, we sit top of the group joint level with Chile on four points and then Belgium sit third on three so a draw for us will in fact be enough to send us through to the knockout stages of the World Cup however Belgium do need that victory to ensure that they go through at our expense so it was all or nothing in this game whoever won this game was going to go through to the knockout round and whoever lost it wasn't going to progress and was going to end up going home so as you may imagine it was a very very tense game with not many chances but the chances that did come were clear cut you can see that Adam Lallana breaking through unfortunately not a very good shot and it is an easy save for Thibaut Courtois who is of course back at the club now back at Chelsea after coming back from that loan from Atletico Madrid and he will be seeing some first team game time in the next season but as we push into the second half a glorious opportunity Daniel Sturridge with the entire half to himself and somehow he manages to put that ball over the bar. A glorious opportunity. I don't know how he missed it. Maybe it bubbled up just as he was about to strike it, which made it go that little bit higher. But I was so, so disappointed that we weren't able to take a 1-0 lead there. If we'd have gone on 1-0 up, I really think it would have been game, set and match for the rest of the game because I didn't see Belgium scoring too. They came close through uh, Morales there. Nice volley at the back post, but unfortunately couldn't get it on target. And then uh, we were actually going to get a half chance ourselves Michael Carrick going for the diving header does flick it on well and on target but it's a comfortable save or block for the defender and it was only a half chance but a half chance was all that was going to be needed for either side to take all three points from this one we get another half chance here Theo Walker with a snapshot on his left hand side and Courtois makes a lovely clawed save but in the end it does finish nil nil so we are going to progress through to the knockout stages of the World Cup and in fact it is Belgium themselves that come through with us Scotland were able to beat Chile which means Belgium go through on goal difference by plus one ahead of Chile massive massive result for Belgium there so them not losing that game was just as crucial for them as the win had turned out to be before we set out onto the pitch so that is how the group stage ends we're going to push through into the knockout rounds that video will be coming to you on Thursday of course this is you'll be seeing this on Tuesday we'll have the interactive road to division one tomorrow there will be some team of the year pack opening stuff coming to you over the next few days the first video of which will be coming to you tonight so do be sure to keep your eye on your sub boxes for that and of course feel free to leave this and that video a like as well if you could be so kind if you aren't subscribed to the channel already then feel free to do so there's plenty of FIFA content coming to you every single day here and that is going to wrap this one up so I'm going to stop waffling on we're going to end it so thank you very very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.